Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're looking into Axelos Technologies. If you remember, about eight months ago, I made a video showing about how I thought it was pretty undervalued at that time. And here we are today with the stock price almost doubled. I wasn't expecting it to go so fast, but congratulations to all of you guys who took advantage of this opportunity. And for all of those who are new here, feel free to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next opportunity. Axelos recently reported an increase on Q4 revenue guidance on strong demand. So let's dive deeper into this. Here are the main highlights. So Axelos is now expecting fourth quarter revenue to exceed 200 50 million compared with the earlier guided range of 232 and 240 million. This would result on a year over year basis for the fourth quarter of a revenue increase of 21.5%. Now on a yearly basis, the company expects to deliver full year 2022 revenues above 900 million. So this would mean that in 2020, the revenue would grow of 29.5% 2021. And from 2021 to 2022, the revenue grew by 36.5%, which is really fast growth. You can see that the revenue really started taking off back in 2020, which was three years ago. So I decided to compare the past three years of growth with its competitors, AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. You can see in the graph that Excelis is the one producing the least amount of revenue in terms of dollar but this is normal because Excelis is the smallest company this being said in terms of growth rate it is similar to the others similar to nvidia and just a little bit under amd but still growing at a very very fast rate now keep in mind this is important the market cap like i said of Excelis is only at three billion dollars which is a lot less than the others that are all higher than 100 billion dollars of market cap and this makes a difference for example if Excelis was to double its market cap from three billion dollars to six billion dollars would be a lot easier and probably faster than google for example that is already so so big and has a market cap of 1.3 trillion dollars seeing it double to 2.6 trillion would require a lot more work than for Excelis. all of this is to say that Excelis is still a small company that has a lot of room to grow now let's look at some free cash flow metrics for the free cash flow margin we can see that Excelis is at 21.36 what does that mean it means that for every dollar of revenue generated by Excelis, 21 cents will be generated as a free cash flow in this case here we can compare Excelis with amd which are both pretty similar around 20 percent if you look at the revenue goal that we already seen earlier, this is only to put the price of free cash flow into perspective. We can see that Excelis is growing at a, at a slower rate than AMD, which is why price of free cash flow reflects that it is lower than AMD because it's growing at a slower rate, which makes sense and which is normal. Now, the reason why investors should put more emphasis into free cash flow than price to earnings is because free cash flow is used to reinvest in the company, to pay down debt, to buy back shares to pay out dividends and to make just make acquisitions so it's more important to look at this metric than earnings now when you look at valuation it's not only about free cash flow you also have to take into account the financial health of the company in the case of Excelis, the current ratio is at 3.7 which is pretty good as a rule of thumb you want it above 1.5 it does depend on the industry but in this case it's pretty good shares are decreasing which is pretty good as well it means that for the current shareholders the value of their shares is increasing for the debt to EBITDA ratio it's only at 0.22 the lower this ratio the better it means that the company has less debt and cash more than liabilities we can see it here cash is at 342 million right now and the total debt is only at 45 million which is good the company they can just flip their fingers and have no more debt which is something i like to see in the company so the company is pretty comfortable financially no distress whatsoever so good thing here we have the returns, which is something essential that every investor needs to understand. It shows how efficient the company is at producing returns for every dollar invested. So if you look at the first one, return on invested capital, it is currently at 51%, which is very, very good. It shows how good the management team is at using capital and investing it in order to produce the most returns out of it so it's a good sign here are the points to remember first the company is still growing at double digit company still has high margins company has a good cash position and very little debt the company's return on invested capital is at almost 50 percent and price of free cash flow is currently at 26.5 which is above the five-year average of 19.5 now on this last one the ultimate question as always remains is the growth justifying the price of free cash flow of 26.5 as always we don't push too much emphasis on analyst expectation but it's still good to look at what direction they're looking at here on average they're expecting for the revenue for 2023 and 24 of about 10 percent which is not that bad of a growth but it's a lot less than what we saw earlier if you remember of about 39 and 36 percent for the past three years so there's a big drop now the question is are the analysts right on this who knows now remember, Excelis did report an increase on guidance on revenue, which means that they underestimated the demand for their products. Question is, did the analysts also underestimate the demand that they're seeing? One way of knowing is by reading the earnings report, which is coming out on February 8th, 2023. So I will do a full update video on that one once it is released. If you don't want to miss it out, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.